It's been over a week since the first day of school kicked off on September 8th, and schools are still adjusting to the new normal. Newswatch reporter Shakira Hawkins has more details. Summers County Schools had a successful first week back to school. The county is currently in the yellow phase, which means students alternate between in-person and remote learning. Uh, after this week, if things continue the way they are, I can see us going back to green. But that's at today at Wednesday. <laughs> Tomorrow's another day. But as, as we're moving right now, we're, we're in that green to yellowish zone. Um, so that's, that's where we are currently. We are yellow. Summers County Superintendent David Warvell says the first week has gone well despite some barriers. Summers County Board of Education is currently working on getting eight Wi-Fi hotspots to help with internet shortage. So we needed another two weeks to get that going. So by October, the 1st of October, we should have eight more hotspots. That's not an easy task, but uh, we've done pretty well considering. But yeah, we need to increase hotspots in this state, not just this county, but the whole state. Warville says his main priority is to give students a great education while staying safe. My main goal is uh, not only to get kids back in public education and to be with them, but also to give them a great education while being here. We cannot forget that we have accountability we have, and that's to make our kids better than when they came in. And so we're trying to make that happen in the school system. Reporting in Hinton for Newswatch, I'm Shakira Hawkins. For up-to-date information, you can visit Summers County School's website page.